Hey guys, uh, today we'll uh, try to understand one of the important concepts of uh, list item, which is uh, joining list items. Yeah. Uh, when we join list in Python, it refers to combining the elements of multiple list into a single list. Yeah, that's what we call joining. We know that by the word it uh, describes itself. Now, this can be achieved using various methods. It could be done through concatenation, list comprehension, or a building function like extend, append, yeah, uh, or a plus operator, yeah. Joining list does not modify the original list, but it creates a new list containing the combined elements. Yes. Now we'll see uh, various method by which uh, we can combine list. Let's start with the basic uh, thing, which is uh, through. plus operator or addition operator. Yes, I'll just try to copy the formatting. Yeah. So we are talking about uh, joining list using concatenation operator. Perfect. Now, uh, when we are talking about uh, concatenation operator, we know that the addition symbol is the concatenation operator by which we can join uh, two sequences. Now, it could be string, list, or tuple, or uh, into a, uh, all into a single sequence. Yeah? When applied to list, the concatenation operator joins the elements of the two list to create new list. Yeah, containing all the elements from both lists. We can join a list using concatenation, oper concatenation operator by simple using uh, the plus symbol. Yeah. So let's try to see an example of uh, the same. So suppose I have, uh, suppose I have two lists. Okay, let me, Joining list using okay. plus operator. Yeah. So suppose I have a list called list one. That is, uh, I have 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah. And I have an another list list two, which has some strings probably. Yeah, I'll say one comma two comma three comma four. Yeah. Now I want to join this list. So what I'll say is list three or I'll say joined list, yeah? And we'll display this list. So what I've done over here is, I have joined the two list, yeah? Using the plus symbol, okay? So uh, let's see the joined list. Created list or joined list. Yes, let's see the output. Maybe I have gone wrong. Okay. Yep. 
या बी आर सो बोथ द लिस्ट है वन सिंगल लिस्ट नाउ आई कैन यूज मल्टीपल लिस्ट आई कैन हैव मल्टीपल लिस्ट यूजिंग लिस्ट यूजिंग प्लस ऑपरेटर सो आई हैव लिस्ट थ्री विच हैज प्रोबली वन कॉम टू कॉम थ्री कॉम फोर Yeah, and I'll say plus list three. Perfect. Here we can see we have multiple list joined together using the addition or plus operator. Yeah. So this is how you can join list. using the plus operator now there is a different method of joining a list using list comprehension you remember if we, we have talked earlier about uh, list comprehension we we'll see that using uh, using List comprehension, perfect. So how it is done? So list comprehension is a concise way to create list in Python. Now it is used to generate new list by applying an expression to each item in an existing iterable, such as list tuple or range. Yes. So usually when i am talking about a uh, list comprehension it has a particular syntax yes let me make it bold and let me put the code so it is usually usually written as new list this is the new list that would be created and it will have an expression then it will have for item yeah so each item in the iterable so that is the iterable is the list that you want to iterate and this item is the element within that particular list Yeah, and the expression which you want to execute on this particular list. This is how list comprehension works. Yeah, so this creates a new list where expression is evaluated for each item. We can join a list using the list comprehension by iterating over multiple list items. Yeah, and appending the elements to the new list. Yes, let's see one example. Quick example. uh we uh may use the same example that we have used earlier so we'll write uh joining list using the uh, list complete function yeah the only thing that we need to change here in the join list is we need to remove this operator and what we'll write here is item for sub list in there are two list list 1 and list 2 Perfect. So let's see how it goes. Whether it is able to join the list in the same way as we did earlier. Can see this. So it has two list which are happening. Yeah, which are getting concatenated or joined. Yeah. 
So that is list one and list two. We have multiple false because every now the first for is for one the first list. The second li uh, for is for the second list. So it will first run the entire list one, copy it to the sub list, joint list, and then it will jump onto list two and it will copy the other items from the list two. And ultimately it will copy it into the joint list. Yeah. So in this example, what we have done is we have joined list one and list two into a single list with uh, the help of list comprehension. Now the resulting list uh, can be uh, is the uh, is the uh, is the overall list of all the elements from list one and list two. Yeah. Now there is an another method by which we can do uh, joining of uh, list, which is through append function. If you remain remember the string functions that we did, yeah? Now what append does is in Python is used to add single element to the end of the list. So whatever elements you add will be added to the, at the end of the list, yeah? Now this function modifies the original list by adding the element to the end of the list. Now we can join a list using append function, but by iterating. So you need to use a for loop to move over each item in the list. So I'll, I'll for, uh, for comparison purpose, I am using the same. Same example so that you can understand the difference that is happening and how the formulas differ, but the output is the same. Yeah. So what I'll do is I need to write a for loop. So I'll say for element in list two. Yeah. Why element in list two? Because I am I have to append all the list two elements into list one. Yeah. And this list is then shown as a new list. Yeah. So usually all these elements will get appended to list one. So for all elements in list one, list two, I am saying list one, one, sorry caps lock list one dot dot append and then I have to mention the element. I'll explain you the code once again. So what I'm doing is over here is from list two I'm iterating each element which is available and I'm appending it in list one. So every time the loop runs through this entire list, one one item from this list will get added at the end of the list one. Yeah. So I'll display list one. Let's see what is the output. You can see this. So list one has got appended with all the items from list two. Yeah. So by this, we can append multiple lists using the iterative function. Now, there is one more last method by which you can do, uh, by which you can join list. Yeah. That is extend function. Again, this we, this we have seen when we uh, went through the video or recorded the videos for string functions, yeah, 
or the uh, list functions. So there are various ways in which I can extend strings. Yeah. So the Python extend function is used to append elements from an iterable to the end of the list. This function modifies the original list. Now what, what append did, you remember here, append added one one item at the end of the list. Whereas extend will help us to complete the, uh, or join the entire list. So I'll just write list two rather than going through one one item at a time. Yeah, I will append the entire list. So let's see how this works as well. Panels. So it acts like an append function only, but append gets one one element at a time. That's why we have to use for loop. Yeah. But extend will directly push the list to the end of the previous list and it will append the previous list or the original list. Yeah. So we have seen four methods by which you can join list items, which was the concatenation operator. Yeah. Second was uh, through list comprehension. Third was through append function and fourth was through extend function. Yeah. So there are various ways in which you can uh, append or uh, join to list, but these are the common functions which I wanted your people to understand. And these are very simple ones. Yeah. Hope you like this video. Do like, uh, share this video with uh, your colleagues who want to learn Python uh, in such easier way or easier uh, examples. And uh, do comment on this video if you have any suggestion or a, you have any inputs which you want to share with my viewers. Do subscribe to my channel so that uh, you can get such uh, informative videos in your inbox uh, automatically. Thank you so much.